and I'm here with the Safe Routes to Health AmeriCorps program in Kalamazoo. Today we're going to read the book, I Will Never, Not Ever, Eat a Tomato, featuring Charlie and Lola. Do you like tomatoes? I know I do. I like to eat them in sandwiches and salads and many other dishes. Now, where do you think vegetables come from? They come from plants. Here, I'm growing my very own vegetable. Why do you think we need to eat vegetables? Well, they hold lots of vitamins and are a great source for many nutrients that our body needs. Now today, we're gonna read a book about Charlie convincing Lola to eat a tomato. He uses a lot of imagination to help his sister out. I'm sure you've used your imagination many times before, probably when you play or when you're coloring and maybe even to solve some problems. So let's go read the book and see how Charlie makes it happen. I will never, not ever eat a tomato featuring Charlie and Lola written by Lauren Child. I have a little sister, Lola. She is small and very funny. Sometimes I have to keep an eye on her. Sometimes mom and dad ask me to give Lola her dinner. This is difficult because she is a very fussy eater. Lola won't eat carrots, of course. She says carrots are for rabbits. I ask, what about peas? Lola says, peas are too small and too green. One day, I played a good trick on her. What do you think the trick is? Lola was sitting at the table, waiting for her dinner. She said, I do not like to eat peas or carrots or potatoes or mushrooms or spaghetti or eggs or sausages. I do not eat cauliflower, or cabbage, or baked beans, or bananas, or oranges. I am not fond of apples, or rice, or cheese, or fish sticks. And I absolutely will never, not ever, eat a tomato. My sister hates tomatoes. And I said, that is lucky, because we are not having any of those things. We are not going to eat any peas or carrots or potatoes or mushrooms or spaghetti or eggs or sausages. We will not be having cauliflower or cabbage or baked beans or bananas or oranges. We don't have any apples or rice or cheese or fish sticks and certainly no tomatoes. Lola looked at the table. Then why are those carrots there, Charlie? I don't ever eat carrots. And I said, oh, you think these are carrots? These are not carrots. These are orange twinglets from Jupiter. They look like carrots to me, said Lola. But how can they be carrots, I said. Carrots don't grow on Jupiter. That's true, said Lola. Well, I might just try one, if they're all the way from Jupiter. Mmm, not bad, she said, and took another bite. Then Lola saw some peas. I don't eat peas, said Lola. I said, these are not peas. Of course they are not. These are green droplets from Greenland. They are made out of green and fall from the sky. I don't eat green things, Lola said. Oh, goody, I said. I'll have your share. Green drops are incredibly rare. Well, maybe I'll nibble just one or two. Oh said Lola. Quite tasty. 
Next, Lola saw the potato. I will not eat potato, so don't even try. Not even mashed. Look at how big this tomato is. Oh, this isn't mashed potato. People often think that, but no. This is cloud fluff from the pointiest peak of Mount Fuji. Oh, said Lola. In that case, I'll have a large helping. I love to eat cloud. Charlie, she said, those look like fish sticks to me, and I would never eat fish sticks. I know that. These are not fish sticks. These are ocean nibbles from the supermarket under the sea. Mermaids eat them all the time. Oh, I went to that supermarket one time with Mom. Yes, I know the ones. I think I've had them before, Lola said, gobbling. Are there any more? And then she said, Charlie, will you pass me one of those? And I said, what one of those? And Lola said, yes, Charlie, one of those. And I could not believe my eyes because guess what she was pointing at? The tomatoes. And I said, are you sure? Really? One of these? She said, yes, of course. Moon squirters are my favorite. You didn't think they were tomatoes, did you, Charlie? And there's all the food that Lola tried. Moon squirters, orange twinglets, green droplets, cloud fluff, and ocean nibbles. The end. Wasn't that a great book? Charlie got Lola to eat all those vegetables. What were some of the vegetables and foods that Charlie got Lola to eat? There was peas, carrots, potatoes, and fish sticks. In what ways did Charlie use his imagination to help problem solve Lola to eat her vegetables? He created very fun names for the food, like the fish sticks came from the underwater supermarket and the peas came from the sky, or how about carrots coming from Jupiter? It's a fun way to try new foods. Maybe this week you can try a new vegetable and let me know how it went.